Welcome back to the Crochet Gateway. It's time for our very first project using the single crochet from the previous video. <clears throat> You'll really like this. It's simple. My fifth grade students really enjoy doing this, having something to show for learning a stitch. You will need a plastic shower curtain ring that you can get at Lowe's. You can get a bunch of them for maybe like $2.50. They might be white, they might be clear. You want them to be round, of course. And eventually, using the single crochet, you can cover the shower curtain ring with single crochets. Maybe put a picture in here. And it's just fun to do. And you can do multiple layers. Right now, I'm gonna show you one layer Take this red glitter yarn, do the slip knot, and here's the H hook placed there. Now, the shower curtain ring will act as the one hole in the chain. So the only thing that you'll do is go into the hole of the chain. So you'll hold the shower curtain ring You'll have your yarn properly fingered. You want to get the tail out of the way. So you'll go into the shower curtain ring, grab the yarn, pull it through, yarn over, go through both loops. That is a single crochet on the shower curtain ring. And again, through the shower curtain ring, grab the yarn, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through both. That's the double, the single crochet on the shower curtain ring. So it's going to take 20 or maybe 25 single crochets to fill up the shower curtain ring like this. And you'll see it building up. You can slide it over so you're not dealing with this section of the shower curtain ring. Eventually you will, but you can wait till the end. Go in, pull through, yarn over and pull through both. There we go, one loop on the hook. Go into the shower curtain ring yarn over, pull the yarn back through, yarn over, pull through both. See how it's building up and looking really good? It can be a Christmas ornament or a decoration. The single crochet. You're doing this with the single crochet. So I'm just going to continue to do the single crochets on to the shower curtain ring. <clears throat> My students faces were so excited to actually do a project using one stitch and one stitch only. They would have the hardest time on the very first single crochet but after that they would get it going. And it doesn't take long. You can buy, it's about a dozen shower curtain rings come to a package and it's looking good. Go in, pull through, like that. So you're just watching and learning, practicing. Always let your hook do the work. Your hook is a tool. It's supposed to be doing most of the work as you use your hands and wrist, but the hook does the hard part. Just a few more. It's 
slide that around a little bit. You can make it as full or as loose as you would like. <coughs> Now when you get to the end or you, you finish the single crochets, you can do a chain however long you want the stem. So you can hang it on the tree or you can pull that out. You can go around again and make it thicker. Okay, so you can just start going around <clears throat> into that part of the project, okay, and make it thicker. I've had students go two or three times around, but it's just single crochets. You could even change colors, but it's a wonderful, wonderful beginning project because you know the single crochet, the most basic stitch. So there you have it. <clears throat> There's a gray one to go with it. I probably put a few more stitches on this one. But enjoy making small picture frames or Christmas ornaments for your family and friends. And thank you for visiting the Crochet Gateway. See you next time. <laughs>